Congressman Kaptur, uh, first of all, uh, I want to go to what the reaction was in the House of Representatives in the last couple of days when you started to hear senators like Richard Blumenthal and a few others saying, uh, Speaker Pelosi should send us the articles of impeachment now. Uh, they have reversed themselves, the ones who started to say those things, uh, because it seems Speaker Pelosi is in complete control of what this strategy is. W what was your reaction in the House when you heard those senators uh, start to uh, make their own suggestions about it? Well, let me just say that I think that it's very important that we create a process whereby the truth can be known. And the administration obstructed justice on so many levels uh, in terms of witnesses who were to come before us, uh, of before our committees, of uh, travel logs and uh, meetings that were held relative to uh, Ukraine and the withholding of aid to Ukraine. We were not able to assemble that information uh, in the House. So I think what the Speaker is doing is very proper. And I'm glad to see that the Senate, which was less focused on what we've been doing in the House, are paying attention and seeing that this temporary pause is an effort effort to obtain the truth. And I think when John Bolton came out and uh, uh, made some indications that he was willing to come and testify, I think that began to move the dial. And is it also part of the speaker's strategy to, uh, because the State of the Union address is scheduled for February 4th, to delay this trial long enough so that Donald Trump does not have a verdict from that trial uh, before the State of the Union address? Well, that sounds like a good strategy to me. Uh, so, so you think it's it's politically wise to to play the politics of that scheduling, uh, and and even even if that becomes publicly apparent that that's what the speaker is doing, that there's a political element to the scheduling, so that the president doesn't have the kind of State of the Union address that he might want to have. Well, everything that we do is political, but I think that if we can, in fact, have clarity from the Senate. Uh, a little bit more on the t kinds of witnesses they will call, what we were not able to do in the House, uh, which is so vital uh, to making sure that we uh, abide by the strictures of the Constitution. No one is above the law. I can tell you, in terms of my own committee, the fact that Secretary Perry, who led the U.S. delegation uh, to Ukraine back in May when the new president of Ukraine was sworn in, and he was unwilling to give us his travel logs, he was unwilling uh, to tell us with whom he met, what he did. Informally, he would say things to me. He would never say it on the record, and he's left the administration. Oh, my goodness. That is really the American people deserve to know what these individuals who are Trump appointees were doing and who they were speaking with, uh, particularly in view of the fact uh, that this military aid was then withheld. Uh, we simply don't know, and we need to know, and we don't have that evidence. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.